Today, we will learn how to configure our Modbus inline bus coupler, our remote I.O. station, so that it can be used with a Modbus master device. The first step is to power the I.O. station using a 24 volt DC power supply. You will want to make sure your Modbus remote I.O. station is connected to your PC via Ethernet cable. To get started, make sure you have the IP assigned tool. You want to have it open before we begin setting up the station. You can find the IP assigned utility on our website on the downloads page of the bus coupler. This utility works by looking for a boot P request from the device. This signal allows the device to be assigned an IP address. We will now set up the station. Start by running the IP assignment tool. It will look for boot P requests sent out by the I.O. station. If nothing appears after a minute, try power cycling the I.O. station. Assign it whatever IP address you wish. For this example, I will be using 192.168.1.2. Once it's finished assigning the IP address, use that address to log into the Modbus remote I.O. station in a web browser. Open a web browser and type the IP address of the I.O. station, 192.168.1.2 in this case. Make sure to remove any HTTPS extensions. Once in the web page, you will see different menus for different information. Navigate to device configuration and disable boot P requests as you have already assigned an IP address. The default password is private. Enter the password and hit apply. Now navigate to inline station. Once inside services, disable plug and play mode and apply the setting. Plug and play mode is used for the head station to create a mapping of the connected IO. To go into operation, this mode needs to be turned off so the IO station can lock in the current configuration for diagnostics and Modbus TCP mapping purposes. If the physical IO is changed, this mode will need to be re-enabled and the I.O. station rebooted to recreate the Modbus mapping. Now, navigate to Process Data Monitoring. Set Fault Response Mode to Reset Fault Mode and the Watchdog Timeout to 0 milliseconds. The 0 milliseconds timeout is primarily for development purposes. In the actual launching of a station, you typically want to set it to 5 times the polling rate of your station. Enter private as the password and hit apply. Finally, navigate to bus configuration to see the mapping of the I.O. to Modbus registers. You can also go to the bus configuration page under inline station to see what registers your I.O. are located. Now the Modbus remote I.O. station is ready to be integrated into a master controller. If you like more information on this topic and other building automation related topics, please visit phoenixcontact.com slash Niagara.